Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. So tandem autologous stem cell transplant is generally used or can be used for someone with very high risk disease. So the standard care again for somebody with Hodgkin lymphoma who failed induction chemotherapy is that you will get salvage chemotherapy followed by stem cell transplant. Now we like to take someone to transplant if only if they're in a, re, a complete remission or very good partial remission, so very low disease burden. Now there are some patients that we can't get them to a remission with salvage chemotherapy, okay? Meaning that whatever salvage therapy you throw at them, the disease doesn't respond so well. Now tandem alcoholic cell cell transplant can be used to start to salvage those patients as well. The idea of the tendon transplant is that you, you plan two transplants. You get, you get a mini transplant to debulk the patient, followed by the consolidated transplant to try to consolidate that response. Now, the French, stu the French group did a study a couple years ago showed that this strategy can work. At this ASH meeting, uh, the SWOC, the Southwest Oncology Group, is pre also presenting their study on the use of tandem transplant. Uh, the data looks promising. I don't have the full results yet since, you know, that hasn't been released, but uh, in the abstract, they put in, does show that they can get uh, long-term progression-free survival and a good two-year overall survival rate using this approach. So that is what I talked about for autologous, tandem autologous stem cell transplant. Now, in terms of allogeneic stem cell transplant, it's used for a patient that has failed an autologous, autologous transplant already. Uh, in general, when we talk about transplant, you can use autologous or allogeneic. Autologous is when we use the patient's own stem cells, whereas allogeneic is when you use someone else's stem cell, a donor's, who matches the patient's. Um, for the lymphoma patient, we always generally use autologous because it's safer, and most of the time the lymphoma doesn't involve the patient's bone marrow, so we can collect the stem cell without any risk of contamination. Um, the reason why we would do an allogeneic transplant for lymphoma patients is generally because they have failed their auto transplant already. Now, these patients are generally sicker because they already seen one transplant. They have multiple relapse disease. Uh, and allo transplant isn't meant for everyone. You know, you have to have good organ function. You have to have a donor. And you have to be in pretty good condition to undergo your second transplant as well. So typically, the... the um, the long-term outcome of allo transplant hasn't been that great. Where, when you look at most of the studies that were done in you know, the last 20 or so years, the, the treatment-related mortality, f if we use a reduced insane allo transplant approach, is about 15%, so 1, 5, 15%. And the two, three years progression for several is about, about 20 to 30%. So yes, allo transplant can be used and can cure a small subset of patients, but it's not 100% effective and certainly has its own risks.